Space, the final frontier holds many secrets and dangers. Out there, beyond our atmosphere lurks the unknown, a realm of extreme temperatures, unforgiving vacuum and cosmic forces that can spell disaster in an instant. Today we journey into the annals of space exploration to uncover the scariest missions, those that teetered on the brink of catastrophe, pushing human ingenuity and courage to their absolute limits. Join us as we relive these harrowing tales of survival against all odds. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for a journey into the heart of space exploration's most terrifying moments. April 11, 1970. A Saturn V rocket, the most powerful machine ever built, roared to life, launching the Apollo 13 mission and its crew of three, Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert, towards the moon. It was meant to be America's third lunar landing, a triumphant continuation of our celestial pursuits. Two days into the mission, over 200,000 miles from Earth, disaster struck. A routine stir of the oxygen tanks triggered a catastrophic explosion, crippling the service module and jeopardizing the mission and the lives of the astronauts aboard. Houston, we have a problem, Lovell's calm voice crackled over the radio, a message that would echo through history, a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of space. Oxygen levels plummeted, power dwindled, and the dream of walking on the moon evaporated, replaced by a desperate struggle for survival. The world watched with bated breath as NASA's engineers and the Apollo 13 crew, separated by a quarter of a million miles, engaged in a high-stakes battle against time and dwindling resources. The lunar module, designed for a two-day stay on the moon was repurposed as a life raft, providing oxygen and propulsion. The crew endured freezing temperatures, rationing supplies to the bare minimum, their every breath a testament to their unwavering spirit. Back on Earth, teams worked tirelessly, pushing the limits of their knowledge and creativity. Every calculation, every command sent into the void held the weight of three lives in the balance. After four agonizing days, the Apollo 13 command module, carrying its precious human cargo, splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean. The mission, though deemed a successful failure, became a testament to human ingenuity, courage, and the indomitable will to survive. Apollo 13 serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life in the cosmos, of the ever-present dangers that lurk beyond Earth's protective embrace. The year was 1971. The world watched as the Soviet Union locked in a fierce space race with the United States, celebrated a groundbreaking achievement the launch of Salyut 1, the first space station to orbit Earth. It marked a new era in space exploration, the promise of long-duration missions, of humans establishing a permanent presence in the cosmos. On June 6, Soyuz 11, carrying cosmonauts Georgi Dobrovolsky, Vladislav Volkov, and Viktor Patsayev, successfully docked with Salyut 1. For 23 days they lived and worked aboard the station, conducting experiments, sending back breathtaking images of Earth, and capturing the world's imagination. But what began as a triumph soon turned into tragedy. On June 30th, after a successful undocking, Soyuz 11 began its descent back to Earth. As the capsule re-entered the atmosphere, a critical valve malfunctioned, causing a rapid depressurization of the cabin. Within seconds, the life-giving air inside the capsule escaped into the vacuum of space. The cosmonauts, their bodies starved of oxygen, perished within minutes. The Soyuz 11 tragedy sent shockwaves through the global space community, it exposed the unforgiving nature of spaceflight, the razor-thin margin for error, and the tragic consequences when things go wrong. The sacrifice of Dobrovolsky, Volkov and Patsayev, though etched in tragedy, paved the way for safer space exploration for generations to come. January 28, 1986. A crisp, clear morning at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Millions around the world, their eyes glued to television screens, watched as the Space Shuttle Challenger, a symbol of American ingenuity and ambition, stood poised for launch. On board were seven astronauts, including Krista McAuliffe, a school teacher chosen to be the first civilian in space. Her presence, her infectious enthusiasm, had captivated the nation, turning the launch into a celebration of human potential. 73 seconds into the flight, tragedy struck. A plume of white smoke appeared near the aft of the shuttle, rapidly engulfing the vehicle. In an instant the Challenger disintegrated into a fiery inferno, raining debris into the Atlantic Ocean. The world watched in stunned silence as the magnitude of the disaster unfolded. Seven lives, seven dreams, extinguished in a heartbeat. The subsequent investigation revealed a catastrophic failure of the O-rings, 
rubber seals in the solid rocket boosters, caused by the unusually cold temperatures on the launch day. The Challenger disaster served as a sobering reminder of the inherent risks associated with space exploration. The legacy of Challenger lives on, not just in the memories of those lost, but in the lessons learned, the changes implemented, and the unwavering commitment to safety that continues to guide space exploration today. March 16, 1966. The Gemini 8 mission, with astronauts Neil Armstrong and David Scott at the helm, embarked on a mission of firsts. Their objectives to achieve the first ever docking with another spacecraft, the Agena target vehicle, and to conduct a spacewalk, a daring feat in the infancy of human spaceflight. The mission began flawlessly. The Gemini capsule, launched atop a Titan II rocket, soared into orbit, successfully rendezvousing and docking with the Agena. Armstrong and Scott, two pioneers pushing the boundaries of human exploration, had achieved a remarkable feat, but their triumph was short-lived. Shortly after docking the Gemini capsule began to spin uncontrollably. The Agena, still attached, was adding to the chaos, sending the spacecraft into a dizzying, accelerating rotation. Inside the capsule Armstrong and Scott fought against the disorienting forces. With each passing second the spin intensified, threatening to tear the spacecraft apart, subjecting the astronauts to potentially fatal g-forces. With remarkable composure and quick thinking, Armstrong, drawing upon his experience as a test pilot, made the critical decision to undock from the Agena. He activated the Gemini's re-entry control system, hoping to regain control of the spinning spacecraft. The maneuver worked, but at a cost. The unplanned thruster firings depleted their fuel reserves forcing mission control to abort the mission. Gemini 8, its mission cut short, made an emergency splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. The experience of Armstrong and Scott, their courage and ingenuity in the face of adversity, provided invaluable lessons for future missions. November 14, 1969. Apollo 12, the second mission to land humans on the moon, stood poised on the launch pad, ready to follow in the footsteps of Apollo 11's historic achievement. On board were astronauts Pete Conrad, Richard Gordon, and Alan Bean, tasked with expanding our understanding of our celestial neighbor. As the mighty Saturn V rocket roared to life, a bolt of lightning, seemingly out of nowhere, struck the launch vehicle. Seconds later, another bolt struck, sending a surge of electricity through the spacecraft, disrupting critical systems and causing a cascade of alarms to erupt within the capsule and mission control. Okay, we just lost the platform, gang. I don't know what happened here. We had everything in the world drop out. Conrad's calm voice cut through the tension, a testament to his composure under pressure. For a moment, it seemed as though the mission, still in its infancy, was doomed. But this Apollo crew, trained to handle the unexpected, was not about to give up. Working with the engineers at Mission Control, they methodically assessed the situation, their hearts pounding as they fought to regain control of their spacecraft. In a remarkable display of ingenuity, John Aaron, a young electrical engineer at Mission Control, recognized the telemetry readings. He instructed the crew to switch to a rarely used backup system, a seemingly insignificant switch labeled SCE to AUX. The command worked. Apollo 12 having narrowly escaped disaster continued its ascent into orbit, its mission back on track. From the harrowing silence of Soyuz 11 to the fiery disintegration of Challenger, these missions stand as stark reminders of the fragility of life in the unforgiving expanse of space. They highlight the courage of the astronauts who dare to push the boundaries of human exploration, knowing full well the risks involved. These stories, etched in both triumph and tragedy, serve as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, our insatiable thirst for knowledge, and our relentless pursuit of the unknown. If you found these tales of survival and sacrifice as awe-inspiring as I do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow space enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more incredible space stories. Until next time keep looking up and never stop exploring. Stay tuned for more incredible space stories.